Um, I'd like to just talk a little bit about my approach to um, taking solos and um, improvising over other people's and my own songs. Um, if I'm booked to do a session, whether it's for myself or for another person or doing an old cover version or whatever, I like to just have a, a good listen to the actual track, get the feel of the track, and then I'll decide where I'm going to take it from there. Um, the, um, the real thing for me is to get a journey going from start to finish through the solo, whether it's over four bars or 32 bars or whatever, or, and whatever type of music it is. So I'll maybe set a figure up to start with, and then I'll, I'll, I'll embellish that and, and work upon that um, um, and see where we end up with it. So um, if I had just a very simple figure of, say, D minor to an A minor 7 chord, scope to, to work within there. So now, if you can imagine these chords again, I could set up a little motif to start with. consider the vibrato or the bends or the hammer-ons or pull-ups, they just kind of, uh, kind of second nature now. But if I break it down to a little bit, of, you know, we do those um, Okay, so on a sustained note, for instance, I would have a nice, uh, a nice vibrato. So a nice slow vibrato. So on that sort of figure, bend on that fourth note. techniques so the second nature basically and, and they they kind of apply themselves I find you know yeah, I don't really think about that so much um, and especially on a slow tune you've got a lot more scope you So, that's kind of my approach. <laughs> 